What is up, Not So Pro Football Talk? This is another episode of Bats Betting Against the Spread. It's week nine. Jeez, where has the time gone? We're already at the halfway point after this week, at the halfway point of the entire NFL regular season being complete. Yes, it is true. It's halfway gone. These guys are practicing their throws out here. Uh, but, <laughs> oh, Reed, you were out. AJ called it. He, he is an official umpire as well. He is uh, certified. <laughs> but, all right, we'll get right into this, guys. Uh, as we always say, we are sponsored by BetUS. Bet responsibly with NSP if you would like to because, I mean, hey, why wouldn't you? But also, as we get some Amber alerts over here, uh, <laughs> you must be 18 years or older to bet on bet US guys. So make sure that you are betting responsibly as well as being over the age limit of 18. So we'll get right into it. Go into the Thursday night game, which will be coming out tonight as you see this video. It's the Tennessee Titans versus <coughs> Steelers. Bless you. And uh, I mean... Steelers are favored by two and a half here. I mean, they, they played well the past two weeks, in my opinion. Tennessee Titans got a nice win last week in week eight. Uh, I think this one's a really hard toss-up, but I think I'm going to go with the Tennessee Titans. I think they played a little bit better. Uh, so give me them Titans. Oh, I think you're muted. I think you're muted, AJ. Sorry about that, you guys. I said I was going to go with the Tennessee <laughs> Titans as well. I, I feel like they got a very good defense, but the Pittsburgh Steelers have not impressed me whatsoever offensively, even with Johnson back. Uh, I'm going Titans here. I also don't like the Steelers a whole lot, but they find ways to win games. I'm going to take the Steelers here at minus two and a half. Wow. Jeez. Reed going with the spicy bet already. I'll go ahead and click the Tennessee Titans since we outweigh Reed so far. Uh, but we're going on to a great game, and I'm so, so sad that this one is going to be so early in the morning because it's. I'm going to have to put in a bet like at 8 in the morning, guys. I'm going to have to wake up and put in a bet because this one's going to be a great game to bet on, in my opinion. Uh, but Miami Dolphins versus the Kansas City Chiefs. I believe this one is in Germany playing at Dutch Bank Park. So that's pretty awesome. We love seeing the games out there in the international uh, countries. But Kansas City is only favored by one and a half here, guys. Uh, I didn't like the way they played last week. Nobody thought they were going to beat get beaten by the Broncos. I mean, they hadn't lost a game to them in like what? I think they said like five or six seasons. Uh, so that that is quite incredible that the Broncos just pulled it out of a hat and got that dub by a lot. Uh, so I think the Kansas City Chiefs have a comeback game here. Uh, we have seen the Miami Dolphins fall to some tough teams, and I think the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be a tough team this week in Germany. So give me the Chiefs favored by one and a half points. Kansas City Chiefs lose again. Give me the Miami Dolphins. I don't care what you say about the Kansas City Chiefs. They have a great offense. I'm not, they're okay, right? But the Miami Dolphins are just going to hit them twice before they could punch once. Give me the Dolphins here, one half. In my opinion, the Dolphins always lose the big games. This is a big game. They choke. Give me the Chiefs. Nice, nice, nice. So here we outweigh AJ here, but AJ has a good point. You know, Miami Dolphins always put up a lot of points and this one might be a very high scoring game for Germany. Uh, but going on to the next game here, we have the Minnesota Vikings versus the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons are favored by five. I mean, who are the Vikings now? <laughs> After the Falcons? that the Falcons who either. Are the Falcons? Who are these teams? I believe Heineke is starting for the Falcons. And I mean, I haven't heard who's starting for the Vikings, but I know they had traded for uh the rookie. Knobs. Right. A rookie's gonna be starting. Oh, rookie's gonna be starting? Yes. Jeez. Okay, so this one is gonna be a really, really, you know, unknown game. Who's gonna win it? Who's gonna play better as the new quarterback sliding into the starting lineup? Uh I think I'm gonna go with the Vikings here. I, I don't know. I just like how they played last week. I believe Kirk Cousins is a big part of that, but I still think the Vikings have a better team here and they're going to be a little bit more well-oiled coming into week nine. So give me the Vikings. 
I just don't like the spread. The spread is throwing me off. Yeah. I'm going to go with what I do know, and that is better quarterback play, and that is Taylor Heineke. Give me the Atlanta Falcons, minus five. I think they cover. I think they would like Heineke a lot more than Desmond Kidder or whatever his name is because it's <laughs> now. Yeah, I, I do not like the spread. I, I think the Falcons will win the game. It's just a question, do they win by five? Separate I'm gonna the take boys the, from the men here. Come on. I'm gonna take the Falcons. Oh, I'm gonna oh, I, I'm gonna believe that B has geez. a good game. They have a good running game that's gonna help them elevate over the Vikings. Dang. Nice, nice. I do like it. I do like it. So I am outweighed now. Every single one of us has been outweighed in the first three games here. But this one should be way easier to choose, guys, in my opinion. You know, Baltimore Ravens versus Seattle Seahawks. The Ravens are favored by a miraculous six points. Uh, yes, they are a good team, but so are the Seahawks sitting at the top of the NFC West. Sorry, AJ, I just had to say it once because I don't know how long it's going to last. But uh, I, I think the Seahawks can cover this. Even if they do lose this game, I don't think we lose by more than six points. Uh, so give me the Seahawks. I do believe that we should win, uh, even though it should be a tough sledding game against Lamar Jackson. It's just weird, right? The Ravens either boat race teams or they barely win it in a close game. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to follow the pattern here. I think this is another boat race game here. But I haven't seen the Seattle Seahawks struggle that much this season so far. So I'm very curious. But this may be a trap game for me. I, I like the Baltimore Ravens here. I'm going to stick with them. I, I'm really curious to see how the Seattle Seahawks, you know, go up against a very, very mobile quarterback. If, if the spread was any larger, then I would go Seahawks, but I think I feel safe with the minus sits. I feel like I feel safe. I'm going to go with Ravens. Are you copying wow. No, I'm not copying you, AJ. I'm going to catch cat. up on your record? I'm not. I, how can I catch up with you if I'm following the same bets as you? Because I'm a winner, That's baby. <laughs> But anyways, we'll move on to another game here for another NFC West team. And that's the Arizona Cardinals who are facing the Cleveland Browns. Now, the Browns are hungry for a win here because they just lost during the last seconds of the game against the Seahawks this past week eight. Uh, so they won't really want to take it out on another bird team and especially another NFC West team. So give me the Broncos. They're favored here by eight. I think they cover this. Uh, you know, Cardinals are <laughs> Cardinals are not going to be doing that well. So give me the Browns. There it is. Um, man, that spread is just way too much. Eight points. Oh, just because we hear Deshaun Watson's practicing, we're all impressed now. I'm, I'm not I'm not impressed with it. I'm, the only thing is stop. I don't know. I kind of want to go with the Cardinals here, but I just don't know about the quarterback issue. Eight points is a lot. Is James Conner playing this game? He's not no. back, right? He's, He's not back IR yet. Still. I, yeah, give, give me the Browns. Give me the Browns. There, there's, we don't know who's going to start for quarterback. I dial. It's going to be Kyler Murray. James Conner is not back, and he was the one who was propelling this Cardinals offense forward. Give me the Browns. I don't like minus eight, but I don't like anything that's happening with the Cardinals until both of those guys come back for the Cardinals. Then we can start feeling good about them maybe with the, the unders or whatever, but right now I'm taking the Browns. Not bad, not bad. Moving on, we'll go to another NFC West team, and this will be the last one because I believe the 49ers are on by. Uh, so we got the Los Angeles Rams, the Green Bay Packers, Reed. He is in here. What's going to happen? How are we favored? How? <laughs> We're so bad. Makes the pick easy for me, right, <laughs> uh, guys? If you're if you're betting, you gotta go Rams, okay? The Rams are gonna are, are gonna at least cover at the very least cover, in my opinion. Um, I'm a Packer fan, so I'm taking the minus three. I'm going with the Packers till I die. I don't care if it takes me, it hurts my record. I'm gonna take the Packers. But if you want to put it, take a safe bet. I would take Rams here. I think this is a, that's a good bet taking the Rams. 100%. I'm going Rams. I'm having Cooper Cup, eight receptions, 122 yards, and a touchdown. Yeah, because we're just trading Russell Douglas away, you know? Yeah. 
I was just about to say that. That's why I am going with the Rams here. They just have too much firepower in uh, that wide receiver core for the Packers now, who do not have You're one of their back. best corners. My back. My back hurts. <laughs> so give me the Rams as well. We are all choosing them. No, I'm taking the pick. Packers. Oh. I'm taking no. the Packers. No, no, you're not. Really. I'm taking the Packers. <laughs> Put Packers down for me, Vince. Yes, I know. I did. I did. I did. Okay. Uh, but we'll move on to the <laughs> Tampa Bay <laughs> Buccaneers. <laughs> we said we're all Houston, taking the Rams. Texas. That's why I got. I was like, no, I'm not. You're throwing we you know bone. behind the scenes, Reed. But again, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Houston Texans. This one should be a good one. Was not very uh, excited about how the Houston Texans played last week. Seems like they are hitting that midseason slump with these uh, rookies that are starting. So I think, you know, having the Texans favored by two and a half here is a little bit concerning the way they've been playing the past few weeks. I still think I'm going to go with the Buccaneers here. I think they either cover or they just blow the Texans out of the water in this game. I think the Buccaneers are going to have an excellent game. I think both Mike Evans and Rashad White are must-starts this upcoming week. Not bashing on the Texans, but this is actually a level matchup for them, which the Buccaneers have not had in quite a while. So we definitely see some experimental offense going on, but I like the Buccaneers plus two and a half. I'll also be taking the Bucs here. Not bad, not bad. I think that's the first one we all agree on. No, it was the Browns versus Cardinals. Uh, but I'll go ahead and pick the Buccaneers here. Moving on, Commanders versus Patriots. Dumpster fires of teams at this point, trading away all the people that they have. I don't know what is going on. I don't know why the 49ers got Chase Young. I'm still hey. salty about it. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> but, man. <laughs> I think due to all of that, I think that is the only reason I'm going to choose the Patriots here. Uh, the Washington Commanders are going to have some trouble adjusting that roster and still playing well, in my opinion. Losing two of their best defensive linemen, I think that gives uh, the Patriots a little bit more time to, you know, call a better game on the offensive side. How do you barely lose to the Eagles, right? You put up a great fight, and then you're like, you know what? I'm going to trade everybody. I'm going to trade Montez Sweat. I'm going to trade Chase Young, our two best players. They're gone. They're gone for literally nothing, or unless Young was literally for nothing because Montez Sweat, you get your money back, you get, you get a second round, which he was a, a very high second round pick. But the Washington Commanders have no defense. The New England Patriots have no offense. That's going to be so entertaining. But I want to go back to defense wins championships. The only team that has a defense here are the New England Patriots. I want to go with the New England Patriots. Even though I do feel like it's going to be a three-point game, I'm going to run that risk of three and a half. Okay. I am going to be the lone wolf here. I feel good about the commanders scoring a lot of points. Yeah, it's. I think the Patriots can also uh, score more points than usual, but I still just don't trust the offense enough, uh, especially with what uh, I think it's Bourne that went down. Kendrick Bourne, yeah. Yeah, Bourne went down, and he was having a good season. I'm going to take the Washington Commanders. Not bad, not bad. So Reed's taking the Commanders. AJ and I are taking the Patriots. Moving on, this game is, spoiler alert, guys, this is the highest, highest spread of the day. Uh, the New Orleans Saints, who had a great game this past week with Alvin Kamara going off in every single category besides passing. Um, I mean, the New Orleans Saints are looking well-oiled at this point in time. Derek Carr is laughing at what's happening over there in Las Vegas. Uh, and he, he's doing just fine over there for the New Orleans Saints. I think this spread is too high, but that's also what I said next week. So give me the Saints. I doubted them for one week, and they proved me wrong. I'm going Saints here, even though the spread is extremely high. That is way too high. I don't know if the New Orleans Saints even had a high spread like that when Drew Brees was playing. This is insane. Um, oh man, oh man, I, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the lone wolf. I think I'm gonna go with Bears here. I don't like that spread. I don't like the Saints. Um, I'm gonna go Saints here. 
I don't like the spread either. I wish it was a few points less. But the Bears is just it's just gone awful there. Everything about it, from the coaching so to the bad. culture to the players, it everything is bad. It is bad, and that's why I think I'm going off of that train over there. You know, they had one good week when Justin Fields got, you know, hurt. Uh, but after that, it, no, you haven't seen too much. So we'll see what happens with that game. It is a high spread, though, so I, I am a little bit worried. But moving on to the mid-evening games, we have the Indianapolis Colts versus the Carolina Panthers. Colts are favored by a two and a half here. Uh, I think I like that, the way that the Colts are playing. Panthers, you know, still trying to find themselves. They do have some some good players there that can help out, but it, it's just not enough in my opinion. I think the Colts are too hot right now. Uh, Jonathan Taylor's finally back, and they're getting a little bit more momentum. So give me the Colts here, favored by two and a half. The Colts did disappoint me last weekend. But that's okay. I want to stick with the Colts. Minshew Mania, baby. Going against possibly the worst team in the NFL right now. Uh, yeah, we're going to go Colts here. I am also going to go with the Colts. I, I like what they got going on more. You believe in uh, Jonathan Taylor and I read? No, I don't believe in him. He's a terrible person. <laughs> All right, moving on to these next mid-evening games. We have the New York Giants versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, the Raiders just fired all of their basically front office besides, uh, you know, the owner. You know, I, I think they need to get the owner out of there, too. But we'll, we'll see how that works out later. That dude's ugly. <laughs> this nice bowl cut, man. I love it. Uh, it's the only thing he has going for him at this point in time. But the New York Giants are also not you know, playing up to the standards that I would want them to play with the type of team that they have. Uh, but I still think I'm going with the Giants here. Las Vegas has a lot of things to figure out as of this point. I do like that they are starting O'Connell. I think it is time for them to move on and, you know, just restart from scratch. This guy's a rookie. Let him go out there, see if he can make plays. Uh, so I do like the Raiders uh, and their wide receivers in this game, but I just think the Giants have a better situation going on give me the giants i think they cover here and i think they win i would say giants as well but tyrod taylor he's not gonna play he's out correct <sighs> in that case i i think i might just go i think with a more talented team offensive even defense as well yeah i'm gonna go raiders i'm I, i'm going raiders Ooh. here yeah, we saw this last year, right? When or not last year, a few years ago, when um, what's his name got fired, John Gruden, and then all of a sudden, the Las Vegas Raiders woke up, right? They were they were great. Maybe we'll see that again. Yeah, easily give me the Raiders here. When Tyra Taylor went down uh, last week, you saw the they didn't even try to run or pass the ball. They had four pass attempts, none of them got completed. I think later on after that, they completed one or something in overtime, they, they have nothing going on there. Yeah, they'll have a, another week to actually prepare for that. Um, but give me the Raiders. I, I trust it more, even with all your leadership gone. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm outweighed here. Raiders are the pick. Moving on, though, we have the Dallas Cowboys versus the Eagles. This is probably one of the roughest rivalries out there with some of the roughest fans that – uh, love it, love, love to uh, say that their team is the best in the entire NFL. And now they, you know, they're, they're doing all right, both of them. Uh, they are in the top half of the NFL, possibly the top quarter of the NFL within standings. Uh, but the Philadelphia Eagles are still favored here, and I'm pretty sure that upsets Dallas Cowboys fans. But it makes our job easier for this betting stuff because I like the way the Dallas Cowboys played last week. I, I doubted them. Uh, they came up with a big win. I think they won like 39 to 20 uh, when they were only, I think they were, weren't even favored in that game. Or if they were, it was by like two or three points. Uh, but give me the Dallas Cowboys here. I, I don't like the way that the, the machine is rolling there for the Philadelphia Eagles. I think they're focused on all the wrong things right now, sitting up at the top of the NFC. Uh, give me the Cowboys. I think they upset here and I think they, uh, make some waves in the NFC East there. 
I don't like this game one bit because I don't like the Eagles. Cowboys looked really good last week. But you know what? The Eagles do have a really good defensive front. And the last time the, the Cowboys went up against a really good defensive front, Dak Pre the, the game relies on Dak Prescott. I don't trust Dak whatsoever. Three points. Give me the Eagles. Ooh. I, I, in my head right now, I've switched back and forth and back and forth between these two teams. <laughs> I, I feel like there's going to be upset here with the Cowboys winning just because we've seen a lot of good teams topple uh, so far this season, win games or lose games that they shouldn't. I just believe that the, the Eagles offense is just it's it's all firing all cylinders for me. A.J. Brown, it cannot be stopped. Um, and it, the tush push is just unstoppable. Third and one, fourth and one, does not matter. Yeah, that's a first down if you see a one yard. Uh, give me the Eagles. Not bad, not bad. I am the lone wolf here uh, going for the Cowboys, but the Philadelphia Eagles are looking like the pick for NSP. Uh, going on to these last two games, this is the night game on Sunday, the Buffalo Bills versus the Bengals. I think this one's an easy pick, in my opinion. Uh, I think I'm going to ride the hot hand in this point. Uh, Give me the Bengals. I like the way that they've been playing in these tough games that they've been having. Uh, they beat the Seahawks. You know, they beat the 49ers. Now I think they're going to come and they're going to beat the Bills. Uh, I just think that's how it's going to work. You know, they're getting on track and the Bengals are a team to reckon with again. Give me the Bengals. We missed out on a great potential game last year, and now we're getting it back again. Very excited to see what's going on here, but we've seen countless times that the Bills kind of choke during primetime games. I want to go with the Bengals, man. They looked really good last week. All right. So I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm going to take the Bills, who I absolutely hate. Um, oh, what was my reasoning? I had it in my head, but I just think that uh, – I don't know. I'm picking. I, I'm. I'm gonna predict a pick sits from Russell Douglas. Uh, last <laughs> time he got traded uh, or or changed to another team, he had an awesome opening with the Packers. I'm riding with my boy Russell Douglas. I like it. I like it. Respect. I love you yeah, forever. <laughs> All righty, guys. So we outweigh Reed here is picking the Cincinnati Bengals. But we're going to move on to this last and final game of this week and nine. Monday night, Los Angeles Chargers versus the New York Jets. Chargers are favored by three and a half here. Uh, I haven't liked the way they've been playing, so this is the only reason that I'm going to choose the Jets. I think their run game is coming back. I think that, you know, the pass game is a little bit better. Yes, I think that the Chargers are still the better offense here, but I just have not seen them be able to get it together when they really, really need it. So until they do so, I think I'm going to have to start picking against them when they're favored. Uh, so give me the Jets. I'm actually going to go opposite here. I like the Chargers. I like the way they're getting the ball rolling, right? We see Keenan Allen. He's still the guy. We've seen Austin Eckler be the guy. They still haven't found their right wide receiver, too. I do feel like Palmer will pick it up once again. He's had uh, – Prior to last week, he's had two weeks back-to-back -back with seven targets, and he looked really good, like the go-to guy. If they could recreate uh, that Palmer that we saw two years ago, the Chargers are going to be a team to be reckoned with. I like the Chargers here. I think this is a wake-up game for them. I will also be going with the Chargers. The Jets, I need them to lose. We need a good second-round pick. This is personal for me. I need the Jets to start losing games. Give me the Chargers. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. All righty, boys and girls. Those are going to be our picks. Uh, as we always say, again, you have to be 18 years or older to bet on these betting apps, guys, especially BetUS, who we are sponsored by. Uh, if you like NSP's picks, go ahead and ride with us. We don't pick every single pick to bet money against, but uh, we are giving our opinions here on what's going to happen throughout the week how we think these spreads are going for these teams and just, you know, having fun with it. So come have fun with us. Uh, link is in the description to go ahead and multiply your money by 125%. Uh, so click that link, bet with us and, you know, just have fun guys. But other than that, you guys have any comments for this 
mid-season week nine here? For the first time in a while, I'm a little scared about my picks. So maybe this is a good thing. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> this is the week. This is the week I turn it around. And it all <laughs> starts here, boys. We only need one. Let's go. You only need one. We only need one. Raise it up. Raise it up. This is the week. <laughs> All righty, guys. Well, other than that, you guys have a great week. We hope that you enjoy football on week nine. And other than that, guys, as we always say, keep on grinding.